Hello everyone, this is Mohit and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to customize the Roots starter theme and uh, we will not be defining any new CSS, we will just uh, change some variables in the Bootstrap uh, framework. It will be compiled using SAS library and uh, using the SAS compiler and we can uh, see those changes on our front page. Now what we'll do, <coughs> we'll go back to our theme folder and uh, you have to go to this uh, folder in the assets. We have a folder called SAS. You, whenever you open this folder you will find that you have some folders here, components, layouts. I want you to look into this uh, file called main.scss. Whenever you open this main.scss file, you will see it's importing some of the uh, other files. Why we are doing this? To maintain modularity. We can, uh, we can differentiate the CSS or you can see the styles of various parts or various sections and we can use it, this in multiple projects. So this is uh, to reduce the development time and to increase the understanding of the code so it's uh, very easy to debug very easy to maintain now what we need to uh, uh, check is what type of files uh, are being loaded so if you see the first one is the bootstrap.scss now if this is in the same same directory so we will open this bootstrap.scss now you can see we have all these uh, uh, SCSS files that uh, that are being loaded. These are Bootstrap uh, the Bootstrap uh, default files you can say, and this is the variables that are defined for the Bootstrap uh, the default uh, variables of the Bootstrap library. Now we have a custom file created called variables we can use it to override the uh, bootstrap variables so let me show you how if you open this variables.scss file we have a brand primary uh, variable defined which is color uh, which has a color value set to something green i will just change it to maybe some dark color and save it we'll check it's being compiled by grunt and uh, it, it says file assets css main dot css changed we'll head back to our installation of, of wordpress we'll refresh it and we'll see the color has changed so it's very simple very easy and very uh, very easy to maintain also what we'll do we'll go back to the uh, vendors folder in the sas uh, directory and uh, we will check this file variables.scss we have all these bootstrap variable defined you can go through this file or even uh, you can go to the bootstrap website there you have all these variables uh, you can customize uh, now to modify the navigation bar i will just go down and or better i should search for navbar here i have all the uh, you can say variables that are used to define the navbar. I will copy a few of them very quickly. So navbar height. Or may maybe I will copy all of, all of them. And I will copy them to variable.scss. I will write it down. Navbar customizations. And I will remove whatever I do not. I need not okay so i will be changing these four variables let me increase the height of navbar and let me change the default color it will be ff and default pg color let me change it to let me write it now blue so now let's see it's compiled we'll see our see we have this customization done the navbar color has been changed the font color has been changed 
and you can see it's looking different not pretty at the moment but it's different so in the next uh, video tutorial i will uh, create uh, some i will try to create some uh, good looking front page and uh, what i will do i will uh, write all the code write all the variables and then you can check it uh, on the hosted github library thanks for watching and in case you have any questions you can put it in the comments and i will reply thanks have a good day